Welcome to Pack Rats Shack. For those of you hanging in here with me, welcome back and thank you for your continued viewing support. I really appreciate it. This is basically turning out to be a 10 minute Tuesday where I am trying once again to give this set of legs a new life and a new home. And it kind of seems they may be doomed forever if they're relying on me in order to get this done. You do remember my last try, don't you? Well, I made another flop this time too. But I don't think it's right to only always show you my good projects without also showing you my failures and downright bad ideas along the way. In this case, I'm hoping I finally got my head back together and in the end made the better choice. I did start with all of the proper stages, cleaning, sanding, more cleaning, you know, all of the prep for painting the base. I started with the piece upside down so I could get into all of the little nooks and crannies first. I actually did two coats in this position before moving it into the upright position to do two more coats for full coverage. Since most of my supplies and tools are already moved out of my workshop, I really don't have proper lighting right now. Therefore, I'm using a flashlight in order to make sure I'm getting full coverage everywhere. When the legs were all done, I did hit them a couple of times with the polyacrylic spray and the warm satin finish. 
I also thinned down my black gilding wax with paint thinner to paint onto the feet. I later buffed off all of the excess and after they were completely cured in, I again buffed them to a satin luster. Then I attempted my bad idea. I should have painted the top with slick stick first. And after that dried, I could have then painted on a gloss black finish before continuing on with the acrylic pour. I do think that when working with acrylics, even when mixed with a pouring medium such as I used in this case, in a real dry environment, I think adding a bit of water would have extended the working movable time that these acrylic paints need in order to move them across the surface. I'm also wondering if the dryer that I used just wasn't good enough for the job. Mainly, I think since I'm trying to get everything moved out to meet my move out deadline date, that I rushed my process a little too much and accidentally skipped some steps that I didn't even think of. I believe these steps for preparation for the acrylic pour would have made a similar project successful. But I'm also thinking that this worked out in this way because it just wasn't meant to be. It's like I totally forgot that the last time I tried to pair these legs with something to make it an actual usable table that I also did an acrylic pour. And the result of that was something on the top that looked so modern and out of place compared with those legs. Was I actually thinking that just painting these legs black would correct that issue? <laughs> yeah, apparently so. Apparently that is what I was thinking. And the universe replied, It still won't work, Tacky. <laughs> So, I hope even through my bad ideas, you still are finding inspiration knowing that even though we all mess up, if we keep on trying, we also create many successful pieces too. Well, that turned out to be a total bust, and even though it wasn't going the way I wanted to because the air is so dry down here that it was just coating over and not moving, it didn't have the work timing that it normally has in order to keep moving it through the project till everything is where you want it. Plus, I think I just poured it too heavy in some areas. But because of the drying time, that black that I put down before where the pour wasn't at, that was getting tacky. So then when I was trying to blow the new acrylic over it, it wasn't moving. So it was one cluster after another and it just never was going the way I wanted it to. And I just kept trying to not let that be a problem because art is supposed to just be able to flow. And I was just trying to go with the way it was flowing and alternate and just keep trying different things to hopefully get something that was usable in the end. But as you can tell, it looks like yeah, it looks like that. And all I can do now is just suck it up, not worry about the fact of the amount of material or cost of material that's wasted and let it dry and peel it off. But even at that, I'll probably be learning something of this. I didn't know if it would be a good idea to put it on glass anyways. So if it peels off real easy, then it's probably not a good idea anyway. So in the end, I cleaned up my slop of a mess that I made and this smoky glass top as it is paired with these legs really doesn't look bad at all. Maybe this is what was meant to be and I overcomplicated the matter. So I decided to go ahead and pair this smoky glass top with the black legs in my booth to see what the response on that pairing will be. I realize these final shots are a bit clustered, but as I mentioned before, my lighting in the workspace is just not good enough right now. So this is how I ended up staging it in my booth, which unfortunately doesn't give it any space on its own. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, stay safe out there.